Welcome to Philosopops, where I'm going to try and explain an interesting idea in about two minutes. So, this video is going to be on Thomas Nagel and his idea of moral luck. Imagine you're in a car and perhaps you're getting distracted by the radio or a conversation or a kid crying in the back and you accidentally run a red light. Tragically, a young boy is in the road and you hit him. Now, imagine that same situation happens again. You're distracted in the car, you run a red light, but this time there is no boy. The chances are you would think about these two actions completely differently. And yet, the thing that makes them different is something that was outside of your control. This is something that Nagel refers to as moral luck. He says that the driver in the second instance, where the child is not hit, would actually be guilty of a far less serious legal offence, would feel much less guilty about the whole thing, and is likely to be reproached by others much less severely. The chances are the second instance, the second driver, does not really think about this, this whole event ever again. Yet for the first driver, it's life-changing. To take another example, the punishment for attempted murder is always less than successful murder, even if the attacker had the same intentions, the same motives, and was, was trying to kill in both instances. In, in one, the person survives. In another, the person dies. The crime is viewed as different, and yet it's just moral luck. It's chance, it's circumstance that has decided whether someone lives or dies. Not the intentions or motives of the assailant. Well, is this a problem? Should we view the, um, the, the car incident differently if a, if a boy gets knocked over or if there's no, no harm to anyone else? Is it all about intention or do outcomes significantly affect the morality of an act? Should luck play a part in our moral judgments? That's up to you to decide.